mind you he has a family back in africa he has a wife and kids back in africa that's why he doesn't want it to get into that part of marriage because he cannot marry you because he's already married so hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Ruth kim if you're seeing this face for the first time on my channel i share my own experiences as a foreigner living in germany i share information that i know and i feel if i share it out there it's going to help someone else i vlog i do haul videos i do story time and sometimes i just want to have fun if you're new consider subscribing subscribe to this channel i'm sure you're gonna find something that you're going to love and yes don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you can be notified every time I put up a new video. So today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to share the challenges that foreigners in relationship and marriage face here in Germany. My first point is going to be lack of a role model. You know, this is just actually, let me give you a short story about as kenyans growing up our parents normally showed us what they wanted us to see like their parenting and you know the way they do things but they didn't show us or talk to us about marriage or even that and again we were too young to talk about marriage and after the age of 14 to age of 18 we went to high school and most of us went to pudding school so we didn't see much of our parents only three times three months in a year and we didn't see anything or they didn't even talk about they didn't even talk to us about marriage. so my point is guys most of us left kenya immediately after high school or a few years after high school so we came here we started even getting into relationship and some of us got married without that knowledge of how marriage life is you know when i was sharing about the challenges or the weird things german do i say that germans talk to their kids about sex family boyfriend relationship when they are 14 years and to us that was like a taboo Woo, you want to tell your mom you have a boyfriend what oh, well, well. so and i feel like that's where we miss the point as africans because that is something that we missed and we came here started getting into relationship without getting that but guys but in africa or in kenya when you say or you go to, when you are at the right age you tell your parents you want to get married they sit you down they take you to a rotaro rotaro is where people are going to advise you about marriage how you're supposed to treat your husband how you're supposed to behave in marriage how to be submissive if you're a woman and the guy is going also to go through the same process but when you say or oh, you're ready to get married before that mm -hmm. nobody's going to talk to you about that so that's one thing that we missed out big time and that's one of the biggest challenge that we go through here because we do things the way we think they are right my second point is lack of parental support guys guys especially if you your marriage you are starting a family and you know sometimes we need help not help from friends but help from your parents but because they are miles and thousands and because they're thousand miles away they can't come into hand so you just have to do it on yourself but the good thing with germany is that you have the right of a midwife who comes to your place or who come to your house after delivery and she's going to take you through until you have it in mind or until you get it how to do it the third point is peer pressure and leave alone the one we know from friends guys nowadays because of point number one you don't have that specific person you can talk to because you don't have a role model you don't have that specific person you can ask advice from so the what do we do we go ahead post on social media and ask for a marito advice or for a very critical advice on social media and we all know that on social media we have all types of love doctor we have all type of you know those people who know everything better than you or they do things better than you so you're going to get a thousand 
her type of advices and most of them are going to tell you things that are not going to work into your marriage or into your relationship because what works for me might not work for you you know we are different we are totally different and there's nothing like saying that because mine is working like this yours is going to work like and the only advice i can give you is what works for me so if you're asking for advices there on social media don't expect whatever they tell you to work for you so the next challenge guys the next one which is not very funny is people loving for the wrong reason or getting into the relationship for the wrong reasons you know when you're in a relationship with someone you expect them that they are with you because they love you and you guys huh? and you guys love each other but sometimes we end up having people in our lives who are not in love with us they are with us because they have other intentions or they want something from us if you're from germany you know guys what i mean yeah let me start by saying that you have people who are going to be with you because they want papers they want to stay here in germany so they're going to get into a relationship with you because maybe you have the german passport or you have the ability to make them stay here so they are going to be with you not because they love you because they are, they just want something from you and these people are going to treat you like shit because they are going to mess with you emotionally even physically they are going to destroy you guys and these are the type of people that makes marriages and relationship here in germany terrible i'm not saying that you're not supposed to love someone who does not have papers but guys if you're looking for papers if you're looking for someone to settle down with please look for that someone you can love you can try and build something with don't just pick anybody because they have papers and they're going to make you you know stay here so you just bump into them be in a relationship force yourself to be there force yourself to sleep with them you you do all those things with them but you don't love them and you mess with these people up you mess with these people badly this is one of the worst actually one of the biggest challenge and the worst challenge that is happening it doesn't matter if the guy is german or if you the person is african or whoever the person is loving someone genuinely there's so many so many people out there who are looking for love and don't just grab anyone because you think oh jackpot hey i don't have to struggle anymore i don't have to go through the process of seeking asylum and all that guys just pick someone who is your type you know so that you guys can build something because everything every relationship especially if it's a marriage has its consequences and the biggest consequence is having a child can you imagine having a kid with someone that you don't even like? This is so sad, guys. This is so sad. This is why I always say, you know, I always feel bad for those kids. Because Babu, this child is like, <clears throat> this was my gate pass to Germany. You know, I feel bad for those kids. And that's why I'm saying, look for someone who you can love, who you can build a future with. So that those kids, if you have kids, are not going to suffer for you to have a good life here in germany you know if the parents are not happy the kids they feel it so guys i don't want to go deep into this point but please please don't be with someone and start making kid, kids with them because of papers or you want to stay here just look for someone you can be with or you can love any of you have to do that who let me just stop let me forget about that point but that's actually a challenge that people face here in germany so my my next point is people being in a relationship just because they don't want to be alone you know i know this is this is a bit complicated but most guys especially from west africa sorry friends sorry most of them who are here they are married in africa 
they are married in africa 99 percent of the west african guys are married back in africa and when they come here you know they are men they want to be with someone so they start grooving with you being with you they are not telling you that they have a life back in africa so here in germany you have a boyfriend and this boyfriend is going to continue going to pursue you and continue staying as a boyfriend and with time you're aging you want to start settling down you want to start having a family this guy is like oh let's wait we are still young let's hustle a bit but mind you he has a family back in Africa. He has a wife and kids back in Africa. That's why he doesn't want it to get into that part of marriage because he cannot marry you because he's already married. And because of telling you the truth so that you can decide if you want to stay like a European girlfriend. And, you know, they don't tell you the truth. Later, maybe you come to find out when you insist you want to get married. You That's when you just start finding out that you cannot even get married to this guy yeah you are just a side chick he's just hustling you yeah he's just squandering you because he need to yeah to hit that thing hey those people who are living a double life may god punish you may god punish you yeah you you're wasting someone else's ears yeah you are smashing them yeah five to six times a week and you know you have you 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 know you have secured your property somewhere yeah but here you you start destroying someone else's life wasting their time and you know you're taking them nowhere guys stop doing that stop i know i'm saying so many things which are not supposed to be said but stop stop another thing is those people who stay in a relationship for money 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 guys i know money is important but why would you be with someone because he's giving you money i know this is not only here in germany this happens also in kenya because someone is giving you a big life yeah? even if he's 40 years older than you and he, you're driving a jeep yeah? you want to be big yeah, this is not a challenge by the way why am i even mentioning it but well, how do you sleep at night how do you sleep knowing that you don't love this guy you only love his money anyway let me stop let me stop guys let me stop the next point guys is if you marry to an african and the guy has an african mentality you know by this i mean men in africa believe that they're not supposed to help at home in some of the house chores now if you're married to such kind of a guy here in germany as a woman you're going to suffer because you're going to end up doing everything on your own and unless the african guy is a millionaire then it's possible because you can be able to hire a nanny come and look after your kids you can be able to hire like someone to come and clean up your house then you don't need his help but if he is a typical african living at like a normal family life then he has to help in the house because you guys have to help each other and be somewhere in the middle okay uh the next point is having different future goals this one is also destroying so many relationship and even in a relationship and your partner want to go this way and the other partner want to go this way then if there's no way you guys are going to meet somewhere so if you're in a relationship and you don't have anything in common you don't have the same future goals then part ways before you make it into marriage or you get married and if you're married guys and you guys have different goals as well you know it's either you talk them out you talk your point and explain like why in 15 years you don't want to go back to africa let me understand why you don't want to go and then i'm going to explain to you why in 15 years i want to go back to africa you know you give me your reason i give you my reasons and we meet here you know if you're married you try to talk and reason things out so that you can make it work and this is one thing that's destroying so many relationships because if you all have different goals,
so you you your future goal is going like this and your wife's future goal is going like this this means that you guys are not going to meet somewhere you guys have no nothing in common in future so that's a sign of divorce so guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this kind of a video let me know subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye